Hey friends, it is getting cold outside and what that means to me is roasting weather. Now today I'm going to roast a chicken. This concept works with a turkey and game hen as well. There's two preferred methods that I like to use when I'm roasting poultry. The first is spatchcocking. <laughs> I didn't name it. And today's method is trussing a chicken. The advantage of both is that they help cook the bird more evenly than if you were to do nothing at all. Trussing a chicken, you have your wings and your drumsticks tightly closer to the body so that when you're turning it, it's just gonna cook more evenly and they're not gonna be kind of flailing when you're handling it, especially when it's quite hot in the oven. Now, this is a fairly affordable project and a simple project to learn. All you need is some kitchen twine that you can find in a grocery store. Whether you bought this from a grocery store or your butcher, uh, very likely you're going to have, once you take it out of the fridge, you're gonna have excess moisture on the chicken. And so what I like to do is kind of pat it dry. So I did this on a plate that I can just immediately throw in the dishwasher and not have to worry about it before I put it on to the cutting board. I'm also going to quickly just kind of pat dry the cavity because I'm going to be stuffing this with some lemon wedges. So I want to replace the moisture essentially. Okay, so just so you know, you probably noticed I took off my gloves and that's because it's easier for me to handle the chicken and the kitchen twine uh, with my fingers. Uh, than with the gloves on. So don't worry, I am going to be washing my hands like a crazy man when this is over. So we're going to start by taking this wing tip and cutting it off, like so. I'm gonna start here by getting a wide amount of kitchen twine, and then I'm gonna cut it, set it aside. All right, I'm gonna cut some lemon wedges. Now when I roast a bird, what I like to do is put some aromatics in the cavity so that it really adds to the final aroma and flavor. And this is such a classic combination. I'm gonna be doing some lemon wedges and some rosemary. Those two things seem to be like the perfect marriage. Before we start, what I'm gonna do is I've trimmed off the wing tip. You can also trim off this here uh, second joint of the wing. Otherwise, if you choose not to, you can simply go like this and set it up like that. Now, we're going to turn it around and we're going to trust it. So we're gonna take our kitchen twine and spread it out like this and kind of imagine the midpoint of this twine. And what we're gonna do is come under like this. Now, instead of the drumsticks like this, we wanna kind of push it up while we're tying it. Okay, see what I'm doing there? I'm going to put pressure on each side like this and kind of cross the twine. Then I'm gonna come in underneath from this end Right, and then I'm gonna come in underneath from this end right here. And yes, I accidentally did flick somebody off there, I'm sorry. So now we're gonna come under the drumstick on both sides and come to the back. And then so I'm gonna cross it like this, and then I'm gonna do another one so that while we're tying the knot, there's a little bit of resistance, you see, so that it doesn't loosen up super fast. So I'm gonna get it tight, and then I'm going to put a couple of knots in, and like that, right? And I'm gonna take a pair of scissors or a knife, cut this, that can be discarded, and then now you see you got your trussed chicken. Most of it is gonna be on the underside. You're gonna have the whole top breast area exposed and not covered by the kitchen twine. You can also see that the stuffing that we have here for the aromatics is going to be fairly secure. It's, the idea is that it's also gonna cook evenly. Once the bird is roasted and finished, simply cut the twine, loosen it, and it is ready for carving. 